Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give our praise, glory, and honor. It's most high y'all by saying, hallelujah. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Elohim of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. The Savior and Redeemer of Israel. I'm Torah Tanakh, Old Testament. The Book of Life. The Book of Remembrance. Ten toes down. And we'll love to the chosen ones. All the chosen elect and remnant of Israel. I love you all. Hallelujah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Another video. Another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikhail. Subscribe. Like, comment, share, and turn posts. Notifications. And turn a bell. So each time I drop in, upload a video, you'll be notified. So turn a bell. Ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. And I hope everyone is having a day. Happy day of being spiritually aware of what's going on around you and your surroundings. And in your atmosphere, and in your inner circle, and in your space. I'm also having a day of being spiritually aware of what's going on around me, and my atmosphere, and my circle, and in my space, and what's going on in this world. <laughs> I'm sorry, my voice is, I'm a little hoarse. <laughs> But um, for today's topic, subject, and title, it's going to be about Rosemary's Baby. It had a lot of gang stalking aspects in it. And I'm telling you, they put a lot of truth in these movies. Everything in these movies is not fake and made up all for entertainment, excitement, and drama. A lot of people don't realize that they put a lot of truth in these movies. And Rosemary's Baby, I mean, her husband, he sold her out. Her husband's name was Guy. He was a struggling actor. Him... Him and Rosemary was living in New York and moved into an apartment, but and the apartment was filled with a satanic coven, a satanic cult, and the people that lived in this building did a lot of witchcraft and murder, and they killed people. They were Satan workers. Okay, so... Rosemary's husband, he was a struggling actor. So he got involved with their neighbors and he made a deal with the devil. He, this man let the devil sleep with his wife and get her pregnant. Also, his acting career could take off. He did all this so he could become famous and popular as an actor. So he made this deal and this other guy that was up for the same role as him all of a sudden became blind. But they dispelled a witchcraft on him to make him blind. That's so God would get the part. That's so God would get the role. He did all this so he could advance his acting career. He let Satan have sex with his wife. Mm. He sold out his wife all for his selfish gain. 
his selfish fame and, and fortune. He wanted fame, fortune, and money. He wanted rewards and material things of this world. So he joined the satanic coven and he became a worker of Satan just to reap the benefits and rewards of Satan. If, if Rosemary start going suspicious because she would get these abnormal abdominal pains in her stomach and God let these neighbors they drug Rosemary they give us something to eat and they drugged her but she still hallucinated when Satan was having sex with her and she saw that the and she saw the neighbors a guy and some other people there she saw the neighbors a guy and some other people there being naked watching them have sex okay but their friend their friend a hutch their friend tried to warn Rosemary and Guy, that apartment building they was moving to was filled with witchcraft and murders. I'm telling you. And the whole town was in on this. Even the doctor that Rosemary was going to, the doctor was involved in it. Even the doctor was in on it. For the friend Hutch, so I, I think somehow they got him to an accident. And Hutch went a coma because Satan and his workers are demons. They know what everybody's doing. They watch what everyone is doing. And they knew that their friend was trying to warn them and get them information about their satanic coven. So they had to stop him. So they got him an accident and he fell into a coma. But before he died, he told someone to get this to Rosemary. And he told Rosemary that her neighbors and the apartment building were people in a satanic coven, a satanic cult. And they, and they did a bunch of witchcraft and murder. So Rosemary started getting real suspicious. And she told God about it. But God dismissed it. He dismissed it. Their French Hutch, he gave Rosemary a book explaining all about witchcraft and satanic covens. And Rosemary tried to tell God about this, but God dismissed it and threw the book down. And after that, Rosemary became suspicious of him. But we know God was involved and on it. God, was, God made the deal. God was in on the plan. God made the deal. God sold out. He let Satan have sex with her. He let his wife get pregnant by Satan and have Satan baby. He wasn't on it. That's why he wasn't on it. So that's why when she brought it up to him, he dismissed it and act like he did not want to believe that it was true. That's why I got mad when she brought it up to him and was acting like he did not want to believe it was true I told you watch people they get mad and upset and, and try acting like they don't believe in witchcraft or evil when you bring it up because 9 times out of 10 they deal in witchcraft and they're doing it on you but they gotta play it off like they don't believe in it and that's not that it's to fool you and throw you off so you don't become 
suspicious of them. I, I think they is the ones that's the one evil to you. You gotta play dumb and and try to persuade you like evil and witchcraft is not true. They don't believe in it. It's not true. You think you're wrong. You should not believe in it either. They got to throw you off and fool you because they don't want you to be suspicious of them and they they and they 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 don't want you to be suspicious of them and they they're the ones that's doing witchcraft and evil on you. Yeah, so the doctor, Rosemary's original doctor, well, she went to him. But he thought that she was delusional and talking off because he didn't know what was going on. He thought she was delusional and talking off out of head. Yeah, but after the devil has sex with Rosemary, she has scratches on her body. And God made her that his long nails did it. So he cut his nails. But those were Satan long clogs. Those are Satan long nails. Long clogs that he that he um that he dig deep in her skin when he was having sex with her. Yeah, but I'm telling you, her husband her husband sold out. That's not that's all I say this stuff is this stuff is gang stalking. This movie had a lot uh, this movie had a lot of aspects of gang stalking in it. And I say it because 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 when you've been gang stalk, the whole town and community when you've been gang stalk, the whole town and community come up against you. The whole town and community comes up against you. Everyone is in on it. Your family, your your old classmates, some members in your church, your neighbors, you go to businesses and people just act funny with you because at those businesses, those people is involved in the gang stalking program and they give all their workers a list with everyone names that's on it. So if your name is on that list, then those workers that work for the gang stalkers is going it's going to gang stalk you. They're gonna to try to frustrate you and make you get irritated. Any kind of service that you are trying to get. They give you the runaround and they frustrate and annoy you. Their task is to frustrate, annoy you, and irritate you and give you the runaround and give you bad service. Yeah. I say everyone is in on it. Everyone in the town, state, or city that you live in is in on it. And, and this is the same way like in the movie. A Rosemary's baby. The neighbors, the people in the building, the doctor was involved in all this. Yeah, even in Rosemary's Baby, people in the town was in on it. And the doctor was a part of this satanic coven, this satanic cult. Because these demons had their workers everywhere. These demons 
had their workers as doctors, lawyers, their work in businesses, in stores, nurses, and hospitals, in the school system, teachers, in college, professors, these demons got their workers working everywhere. These demons that's involved in this gang stalking program, they got their gang stalker workers that work in a lot of places. Yes, the gang stalking program got the gang stalkers that work in all places. They're in all careers, all fields of work. They're in all jobs. And a guy sold out his wife. Now think of that this happens for real in real life because people that's close to you will sell you out. Your husband, your wife, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, they can sell you out. Your family members, they can sell you out. Your friends, old classmates, associates, they can sell you out. Your neighbors, they can sell you out and do work on you. And, but your own family, your own flesh and blood. Blood is not thicker than water. Water is thicker than blood. Trust me. I've learned that from experiences with my own family. But your own family members or your spouse, they sell you out. They're all for money or fame. All for some rewards and benefits of this material world. They sell you out for their success. They give you they give you they give you up for their success. You can't trust no one but the most high. And that's the honest truth. Don't trust no one. But the most high and yourself. And so, and your spouse, you gotta be careful who you get involved with. You start going with, having sex with, and who you marry. Because because the demons in this gang stalking program, they send people into your life as your handler. They pretend that they love you, but they don't, they don't really love you. They just, they secretly are setting you up. It's secretly a trap for your downfall and destruction. And they come around and start going with you, but secretly they're gang stalkers. They're there to bring you down. They're there to accomplish their mission. They're there to accomplish their mission of running you insane. Have you put in a mental institution? Have you killed somebody? Or have you just gone off? They're there to throw you off the right path. It traps. It's setting you up. So be careful because be careful who you get. Be careful who you get involved with in a relationship. Be careful because some people come into your life and some relationships 
or trap is a setup for your demise. Is a setup for the game stalker program. These people come to your life as your lover, but they really are secretly gang stalkers. They secretly are gang stalking you and secretly are your handler to do MK Ultra on you. Mind tricks. They mind games and to have mind control over you. And to do witchcraft on you. Yes. And to do witchcraft and, and spells and place curses on you. And Rosemary, Rosemary went to her original doctor. It, it thought she was talking off out of head and thought she was going crazy. So Rosemary, Rosemary husband guy and the doctor that was in the satanic cult. They came to the doctor's office and got Rosemary. And they was threatening to put her in a mental hospital. They're trying they're trying they're trying to tell Rosemary that she was going insane. And that she need, and that she need to be and, and they threatened with putting her in a mental institution. I told you, that's the purpose of gang stalking. The purpose of gang stalking is to gaslight you. But you think that you are imagining things, hallucinating, you seeing things, you thinking off, hearing voices, being schizophrenic. Their job is to make you think that you are going off. Their job is to run you crazy. Like I mentioned earlier, one like I mentioned earlier, one like I mentioned earlier, one of their goals is to make you be put in the mental institution. One of their goals is to run you insane and have you be committed in the mental institution. And thus they try to do with Rosemary, they're telling her that she was going insane and talking crazy. So they, so they was telling her that they're going to put her in the mental institution. Now, been in the doctor, he sedated her, knocked her out, and she had the baby. And her husband told her that the baby was stillborn. But she heard a baby crying and God told her that there was a tennis baby that's upstairs. But she kept searching. Eventually, she came into a room where she saw a baby in a crib with a cross upside down. And she saw a guy, her neighbors, and and the doctor and other people that and other people she saw a guy her neighbors the doctor and other people that was also a part of the satanic cult the satanic coven and she asked them what's wrong with his eyes she asked them when she looked when she looked at the baby, she asked them, what's wrong with the baby eyes? And a cult member said, he has Satan eyes. No, he has his father's eyes. And she said, God's eyes ain't like that. <laughs> and that's they told her that he's Satan's son. And God was telling her that they're going to be rewarded with so many benefits but she spit in his face I don't blame her I would spit in his face and punch him I would mess him up I would I, I would I would also spit in his face punched him and went off on him left him 
and divorced him. Yeah, I don't blame her for I, I don't blame her for spitting in his face. And I want and not wanting no part to him. I don't blame her for spitting in his face and not wanting no parts of him. I don't blame her. I would have done the same thing. And they told her that his name, they told her that the baby name was Adrian and he's Satan's son. But in the end, Rosemary, I don't get why she started rocking the cradle at the woods. They said that her maternal instincts start kicking in and she, st and she started rocking the cradle. She crazy. I would not have accepted that baby. God told her. But God told her they could have more children of their own. Just, just to show you that people really do make deals with the devil, Satan, and demons, all so they get rich, famous, popularity, any kind of material gain. Nice home, nice cars, a high paying job. People really do this stuff. People really do sell their soul and make deals and bargains with evil forces, negative energies. And some people do get involved with satanic covens and join satanic cults. Some people really do this in real life. Like Rosemary Husband Guy. Some people some people really do this. And we tricked his wife, see? Anybody can set you up and mess your life up. But the most high always has the final say. Because everything don't go through. The most high Yah does not let everything go through. And people do in real life. A, a lot of actors and actresses, they cast spells on other actors and other actresses. So they get the part in a movie or TV show. <laughs> Actors and actresses do this in real life. People, people, some people, but people, most actors and actresses in the acting industry, they do witchcraft on other actors and other actresses so they get lead parts and lead roles in movies or TV shows or commercial deals or endorsement deals yeah and people really do do sell their soul so they make it big in Hollywood make it big in the entertainment industry, singers, rappers, models, athletes, they all do it. Yeah, like I say, the most high does not let everything go through. So in the end, they can try to destroy your life. They can set you up and trick you. They can set you up and sell you all, all because they sold out for material gain. But in the end, the Most High Yah has the final say. He has the final say over your life and your destiny. Uh, 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 hope the chosen ones, chosen lucky, chosen remnant got the. It gains some good um, spiritual knowledge, spiritual and spiritual insight, some spiritual, some spiritual intellectualness, and some spiritual 
enlightenment on what I just spoke about and, and everything that I said and spoke about in this topic based on the review of Rosemary's Baby of how it has a lot of aspects of gang stalking in it. I'm Mikhail, subscribe, like, comment, share, turn post notifications, and turn the bell. So it's probably drop in, upload a video, you'll be notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. And I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you all in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I've been aware of, I've been spiritually aware of, of what's going on around you and your surroundings and your atmosphere and your space and your circle. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day of being spiritually aware of what's going on around me and my surroundings and my atmosphere and my circle and my space. Stay strong, keep your head up, stay positive, don't quit, never give up, stay the course to the end, keep praising Yah all the way to the grave, all the way to the graveyard, and one love to all the chosen ones, all the chosen elect, and chosen remnant of Israel, I love you all, bye chosen ones. Bye, chosen, let chosen, remnant of Israel. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and again, one love. And I truly, sincerely mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom, shalom.